Hey guys, Moms Against Medical Bullying. I just want to mention one more thing about the school bus driver. Okay, so when I was in high school, I used to take the bus. And let me tell you, kids and high schoolers especially, especially can be super rowdy and super disrespectful. Okay, and like, this just came to me as I was sitting on the couch. Like, I got, I remembered a glimpse of my school bus driver and he was this old guy he would get so stressed out with with the kids on the bus like he'd be yelling at us like sit down <gasps> you know what i mean like he'd be freaking out because kids are can be friggin rude and and crazy and and disrespectful um you know especially ghetto ones <laughs> you know you know, sometimes they even try to open the emergency exits and jump out of the bus. I mean, imagine being a school bus driver under those conditions. You're, you're stressed out already. Your heart is stressed out. And, and you're, you're tense because you're driving this huge bus with all these kids. It's a, You know, if, if you mess up, you're done. If you get into some kind of accident, you are done. You, you can't put... You have all these children's lives in your hands driving this big thing. So imagine... Imagine that mask on, <laughs> and you're trying to yell at kids to to sit down or to lower their voices or stop shouting, you know, because they can try to drive these bus drivers crazy, like drive them mad. Really, it's a stressful job. I could just tell by you know. And then another thing is, I remember. I don't know if this has changed now, but when I was in school, there was no air conditioning. I think there might have been heat on the school bus during the winter um but there was no air conditioning so there was this little fan so imagine being a school bus driver with the stress of dealing with 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 50 kids you know 30 kids however many kids are on that bus and say they're super bad kids it's after school okay it's after school they're all riled up you know how kids get once they've been to school all day they're all riled up so you're yelling at kids, trying to get them to sit down. You're trying to drive this bus. You're trying to breathe. Now you can't hardly breathe. You're breathing less optimally because you have a mask on. I feel like cursing so bad right now, guys, <laughs> because that's how passionate and angry I feel about this. So just like picture this situation, right? And you're, you're doing all this with a mask on. And then, oh my God, all of a sudden, and then on top of that, a lot of these school bus drivers, like I mentioned before, are, are already old. They probably already have health issues. So now they have high stress and they don't have enough oxygen to deal with the stress of driving this big bus, managing these kids, yelling at them to, to sit down or quiet down, you know, to behave you have like a heart attack or something and you crash and you kill a bunch of people and kids die on the school bus I mean oh my god this is this is what I'm imagining in my mind because I've been on a school bus I've ridden on a school bus for four years during high school and it's very hellish it probably depends on the district you're in, maybe. You know, I'm sure in some places, maybe some kids or most kids are more well-behaved. <laughs> but not where I went to high school, okay? Like, let's face it. The kids are in school all day. They get out of school. They're going to be bad. They, they're going to want to be bad. You know what I mean? They're going to want to act up. They're hyper. Not that they want to be bad, but they're hyper. You know what I mean? So, this is just concerning me because I can see my school bus driver's face in my mind. Poor guy. Like, poor guy. And, and imagine if he had to wear a mask while doing all this and dealing with super bad kids. I mean, this has to stop. This has to stop. And I pray to God that really, when, when, when I speak to these people, I pray that they hear me. I pray that I can come across to them in Jesus' name and, and that they'll hear my concern and I'm going to encourage other parents um, 
put maybe on Facebook or whatever to do the same. But who who knows? I don't know. Maybe they won't care because a lot of these parents, their kids are going to go to public school too and they're going to wear masks too. So I don't know if they will get the drift of what I'm saying. I hope they do because I literally think it's dangerous. Like, I think everything about wearing a mask is a danger to society. And it's so messed up.